Hello you guys, welcome back to my channel. So I have another pick a card. This pick a card reading will be your shadow self. So I'm here to drag you. I have four piles to choose from. Um, if you're drawn to more than one, pick more than one. And yeah, I'll see you at your reading. Hello, if you chose pile one, then this will be your reading on your dark attributes, your shadow attributes. Things you might need to heal, things you might not know are your shadow attributes. What is Power One's shadow attribute spirit? What are some things you might not know? Is there shadow attribute? This one card. What is Paul one? Shut up, You're very guarded when it comes to letting happy emotions in. You are very uncomfortable with happy emotions. Like once something gets going good, whether that's a relationship, whether that's a job, whether that's just emotions in general, whether like things just start going good for you out of nowhere, you kind of think like, okay, well, what's next? Like, is this like real? Is this fake? Am I supposed to be feeling this way? Or it's like you're very pessimistic is your dark attribute. Like you're very guarded and you're pessimistic. Like you're guarded to being open and to having real true happiness, love, harmony with someone or with yourself in general. I feel like you don't really have a harmonious, kind relationship with yourself yet. Like you're very, really, you're really, really guarded. Like you're very, very like, and I feel like you're very hard headed. Like you don't like to hear other people's opinions about anything. Like you're very like, opinionative you're very like yeah opinionated when it comes to like anything like you're very like headstrong and i feel like this can be a light attribute but this also could be this also can be a dark attribute to where you don't really it's hard for you to listen so i am getting a hard headedness from you and it's very frustrating talking to you sometimes because you only want to see things from your perspective a lot of the times like you don't sit there and pause and think okay how would this person feel or maybe i am wrong like i don't think you like to be wrong in this pile yeah, you could be a Leo, so even if you're not a Leo, you just have like that tendency of a Leo where you don't like to be wrong. Or you be yourself even if you know you're damn wrong. You know damn well you're wrong, you feel you still feel like you're right. Or you're still gonna act like you're right. And I feel like it's very hard for you to apologize. It's really hard for you to see when you're wrong, and it's really hard for you to come back and apologize because you're very like you don't feel like you should apologize about anything for this pal. So you definitely could be a fixed sign or a Leo. We have fixed a fixed a fixed moon or a fixed sun. It's one of those where you're just very like headstrong about like once you have your mindset on something or an opinion or a story made like a narrative made up in your head about something, it's hard to hear what anybody else has to say about it because you already have your mind made up. You don't like really like listening to anybody. Maybe you bump head with your parents a lot, or you used to, or you still do. You fight with your parents. And I feel like this is one of the reasons why you just want to be right or you always think that you're right. You could have gotten this dark attribute from your parents, actually. Three of Swords. You self-sabotage a lot as well. It's one of your dark attributes. You self-sabotage a lot. Because you feel like things are, when they get good, like I said, you feel like things are too good to be true in this pile. Like, 
you're like let me just ruin it real quick because i feel like this is not reality like you are scared of you're really scared for this probably you're really scared of calm emotions calm emotions make you really nervous when things are really quiet when nobody's saying anything um sitting in calmness and stillness is very still even if you're working on that and you're getting more comfortable with being in a peaceful environment yeah i feel like some of you guys you weren't brought up in a very you were brought up in a very like environment that wasn't too much peaceful and it wasn't too much stable so now every time you're in like a peaceful non-dramatic like it's like you're the type where also you need to be in a drama full relationship like you can't be in a relationship without having drama in it because it you'll get bored you like drama that has a lot of flavor a lot of drama in it because you get bored with somebody that's healed almost is what i'm getting like a healed energy almost bores you because you weren't ever really stable or you didn't really have a stable environment growing up so it's like you almost break hearts with your swords you break hearts a lot because you'll self-sabotage or you'll create drama because you're bored so you'll create like a issue in your love life when there really is no issue you probably just didn't get your way or you're bored so you'll make you are you just because you're bored. You'll be mean and throw fits with the seven of wands just because you're bored. You don't like being happy too much. I mean, you do. Not really. <laughs> you don't like being happy. You don't feel, you don't like being happy. It's like, as weird as that sounds, you don't like being happy in this pile. Because being happy, you're just like, okay, I'm a self-sabotage just because everything is going right right now with the sun card. That could just be with anything. That could be any relationship. I feel like you just, even if a friend is really, really nice to you, you feel like there's an underlying plot twist to it. Like, why? And I feel like you also think a lot of your friends are jealous or you, it's like you need drama or you just don't trust people. In this pile, you don't trust people with three of swords. A lot of things, a lot of friends, relationships, family members could have broken your heart as well. Like, I feel like all your dark attributes and feelings are very valid in this pile like you could have a lot of friends that are jealous but i feel like every time you get a good friend you think they're no good like even every time you get a good partner you think they're no good like you you build whatever narrative you want and it's hard for you to change your mind like even if your partner or your friend does everything right you still create some type of drama even if there is drama and they did do something to hurt your feelings, you you over extend that and you over you drag the you drag it. You just really drag it. Like whatever problem it is, it can be resolved, but you drag it. You're gonna drag it. And you're gonna probably carry it on to the next um problem that comes up in your relationship with someone. You're just gonna drag it. You're gonna it's like you like to be you like to hold grudges in this pile that's your another dark attribute you like to grow you like to hold grudges it's hard for you not to hold a grudge and all of these feelings are valid but i'm just i'm trying to roast you right now so and i think another dark attribute is like you could be in queen of pentacles energy you could have everything you're very independent and I feel like your dark attribute is attracting or getting involved with partners that are not on your level with the Page of Pentacles. Like you attract a lot of partners that you know is not on your level. Like they give you a lot of red flags in the beginning and you still like run the red light. I'm picturing cars just running the red light. Like you already know you're not supposed to do this. You can get in an accident, but you just do it anyways. And I feel like you always try to make a page of pentacles into the king of pentacles and no you can't do that and that's like a dark attribute because there's something not healed there if you keep picking partners that aren't on your level on purpose and you could say yeah it's not on purpose they just find me they're attracted to me yeah they're attracted to you and they do court you first but you have the power to reject them you have the power to walk away if you know they're not on your level and i really feel like your dark attribute is thinking that you can change someone or thinking you can make somebody into your king when you meet them as a page why am i hearing you can't raise a man by k michelle like you come across a lot of masculines that do you dirty and you know you're gonna, they're gonna do you dirty but like i said you need drama in your life you need drama to feel wanted for whatever reason you get bored very easily um power one yeah, that is a dark attribute that you pick partners that are not on your level. Financially, I'm hearing. 
so you could be like you could make a lot of money with you attract a lot of people that aren't on your level financially they aren't on your level spiritually it don't matter they're just not on your level and you can see that but you still for whatever reason i don't know if the sex be really good i don't know what it is but you still decide to go ahead with the relationship and catch feelings it's a it, I mean, it's okay to go on with the relationship if it's just going to be fun, but you desire to catch feelings and try to ground it. You want, you, you have these like unrealistic. It's okay to have people that aren't your level actually sometimes, but you have unrealistic expectation of these page of pentacles that come into your life, these younger energies. Even if they're not younger than you, they have a younger energy or they're just not on your level in some type of aspect. And it's different for all of you and you guys. You guys view and know what I'm talking about, but I'm feeling like you can see the immaturity in them. You can see their flaws, but you ha you set very unrealistic expectations. I feel like if you are going to get into relationships or friendships and you see that they're inadequate in some type of way, you should set expectations that are on that are realistic for them. If that makes sense, like yeah, you can motivate them, yeah, you can help them out since you are in the queen status but stop setting unrealistic expectations and stop getting frustrated at them stop getting angry at them because they're not on your level because you knew that in the beginning whether this is a friend i think this is friendships as well like you get into a lot of friendships as well where they're not on your level financially not on your level spiritually and that's okay like not everybody's going to be in alignment you are supposed to be a spiritual catalyst for these people that aren't in, not on your level but i feel like you tend to get frustrated with them very easily you don't have patience that's another <laughs> shadow quality you don't have patience and you set unrealistic expectations for your friends and relationships because i feel like most of the time power one you are the leader you, you have some type of leadership role and you're not doing that great at being a leader you end up cutting these people off cussing them out creating drama getting frustrated at them because they aren't what you put them on expect like you don't get mad at them because they don't reach your expectation that you feel like they should reach and they're very just because but it's just because they're unrealistic maybe if they were more realistic you would be proud of them you would be more patient with them like you can't just be involved with the page of pentacles sexually romantically and then day three you expect them to do king pentacle duties like that's unrealistic as fuck you could be dating a page of pentacles for a week and expect king of pentacle treatment next week like that's so unrealistic and and then you just create drama yeah what did i say you're just dramatic you're a drama queen you probably even like watching like reality TV shows. You like TV shows with a, lot, with a lot of drama. You like social media like with a lot of drama. Like you just like drama. <laughs> That's like Gemini energy low key. Like you could also feel like you're better than everyone. <laughs> but it's like, why do you? Why don't you just, I don't know. Start going after people that are on your level or more than on your level. Be with somebody that thinks you're not on their level. That'll kind of put you in this vibe. This puts you on your toes. Yeah, surround yourself with people that are where you're not on their level and you need to improve. And you probably wouldn't like the way if they you probably wouldn't like the way they would treat you, like if they were to treat you how you treat people that are on your level. Because I think you're actually a little bit mean, Paul. Yeah, you pout a lot when you don't get your way. You could fantasize a lot. And we got the nine of wands. Yeah, you're a bit mean. You probably don't see yourself as mean, but you're a bit mean. You're a bit like 
queen of swords queen of wands energy where you're very like stern you're very powerful you're very you're very sharp with your tongue um you're very like um how can i say it you're very like daring but like you're you come off very intimidating because you set high as expectations when you can see that this is clearly a page of pentacles energy approaching you so i feel like you should give them a chance i feel like you do give them chances but be more patient um stop creating drama in your love life when there's not like you drag it nobody's perfect and i feel like you just go overboard you're very like toxic with your emotions sometimes that's your dark attributes pile one so Hope you enjoyed. If any of it did resonate, please like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you on my next post. Hello, pal two. So then welcome to your reading. This will be your dark attributes, some things you might need to heal that you don't even know or realize are your shadow attributes, your subconscious, whatever it is. For you, pal, so you could worry about your looks too much. Like, you probably like take a photo or look in the mirror and you keep looking until things look distorted to you. Like, you're the type to post a picture and then keep looking at it and then delete it off your social media account. Like, you're very, very absorbed. Like, you, I don't even think that you notice how subconscious you are about your looks or how much you feel like looks are important, like, when it comes to you. Like, you're very, very, like, you won't even go out unless you put on makeup. You won't even go out unless you put on lashes. You won't go out unless you put on that wig. You won't go out unless you put on, like, you know, it's just you're very, like, subconscious about you need to, you have a certain routine before you can leave the house because you don't like to be judged. Like, this could just be, like, little things, like, you go into your mailbox, you go into the grocery store, you going out. It's just something where you, like, feel uncomfortable and you feel naked almost and you have to have, like, a certain something on your body. So, I don't know if it's, like, you have to wear something to cover up something. Maybe you have scars, maybe you have stretch marks maybe it's just you are very like i don't think you fell in love with yourself all the way yet you're very confident though can we have the queen like the light attributes would be that you're very confident you're very sexy but i feel like the dark attributes is like that you literally sit there and pick at little flaws about yourself that aren't even like people don't even really notice because they only notice um because you're so subconscious about it and you like try to cover it up or you it's like you you like to look For some of your dark attributes is that, <laughs> what is your dark attributes? Um, some of you guys, you don't even really like your natural body. Or you're having issues with how your natural body looks. Some of you guys, you're just, some of you guys, you're having issues with your natural body because you had a baby. And your baby definitely, your body definitely changed after the baby. And for some of you guys, you your dark attributes is not loving yourself enough, not being kind kind enough to yourself, not being patient enough with yourself because you, you know, maybe some of you guys, you just had a baby. Even if you had the baby years ago, you need to do more. Like, if you want to improve certain areas, save up the money to get cosmetic surgeries, work out, um, or just love whatever you can't change or if you can change it change it like but i feel like it's a process here it's just something like your dark attribute is just something about your looks that bothers you i don't know if you have a birthmark or you have a scar or you went through something that changed your looks dramatically other than pregnancy but i just feel like for this reading it's something you do with your appearance
some of your dark attributes that you don't know how to communicate you're either too if you share too much you act too crazy too soon or you don't speak up at all you're very passive aggressive so some of you guys are too aggressive some of you guys you're passive aggressive like you won't let your partner know when you're upset some of you guys you're just always vocal about things that don't that, that need to be kept secret like you don't need to tell your your partner everything your romantic partner everything about your past because this could scare them off or sometimes things just need to be kept secret for like the like the privacy of like you know some people just don't want to know certain things like i don't know if you bring up an ex or something this is like a turn off I'm going to let you know now, if you're trying to date, this is a turn off. I feel like this is just turn off a lot of your ex-romantic partners. You bring up your ex all the time. It's just not like tasteful or classy at all. Stop bringing up your ex. Stop bringing baggage from your ex relationships into your new relationships. That's also like unattractive and that's a turn off to some of these men. They just don't say anything. Even if it's not men, whoever you get engaged with, this could be same sex, whatever it is. You just talk too much and say too much things that they don't need to hear. Some of you guys, you actually nag, and this is annoying. Like, you nag. Like, you're a nagger. Like, I feel like you complain a lot, and this is a turn off. Instead of just getting, like, instead of just taking action and just taking care of whatever is bothering you, you will complain. Like, you're the type you'll probably even take care of what's bothering you but you'll still complain like you'll keep complaining i feel like you also gossip a lot with the knight of swords the page of swords you gossip too much when you need to be paying attention to your own little situation your own healing because it can take time away from your own journey you gossiping and sticky i feel like you're very nosy as your dark attributes pal too you're very nosy and this can also make you very nervous because if you weren't so nosy you would be doing more self-love and doing more like you would be more like acceptive of your own looks i feel like you care too much you also what your dark attribute is you care too much about what people think about your appearance as well like you're not accepting of how you look even if other people even if you are sexy you are beautiful with the empress and the queen of wands and other people tell you you're so sexy and beautiful and ma like magnetic and they want to be around you you don't feel like this all completely about yourself and that's your dark attribute you don't feel like this and as long as you don't feel like this you'll never completely feel beautiful or sexy or wanted or whatever it is attractive you never feel truly attractive and you'll never truly attract what you want when you're so worried about what other people think and also like People can try to like, you know, compliment you all the time, romantic partners, friends, but if you don't feel that way internally and about your physical appearance, then it will never be the same. You need to actually think that and feel that for yourself. So that's why I feel like if you feel like getting cosmetic surgeries and that'll make you happy do that if you feel like working out will do that do that if you feel like doing both working out and getting cosmetic surgery do that like do whatever you feel like will improve whatever it is that you're insecure about um when it comes to appearance like because at the end of the day if you don't love yourself and you lay down with somebody that is trying to love you you won't let them love you right how to if you don't love yourself and somebody comes in and tries to love you, they can try to love you all day long, all night long, to infinity and beyond. But if you don't love yourself, you'll never let them truly love you how they want to actually love you. Because you won't feel that love for yourself. So it'll never work with whoever is trying to give you love or give you affection. That's, a, that's happened a lot in relationships where like the man tries to love the woman. And tries to make her feel confident because he truly feels that way but if the woman doesn't feel like, like that about herself she's going to continue to push that man away we got the high priestess so <laughs> you can come off a little delusional at times you definitely have a kid
or a family already like this is your boyfriend and his boyfriend is trying to love you trying to make you feel beautiful but you're really mean to him because you feel like you're not beautiful for whatever reason you're struggling with that i don't know if it's postpartum depression or some of you guys you didn't even have kids yet but this person the king of cups is just has a lot of love for you they're infatuated with you they feel like you're amazing because you're coming up as an empress but i really feel like you don't really know how to communicate and your thoughts can overwhelm you and your thoughts kind of make you delusional in a way your thoughts you're so you need to take some time alone even if you are in a relationship or not i don't know what it is you need to take some time alone away from gossip away from social media away from like news stop being nosy stop stop you know talking on the phone to friends that i don't know aren't good for you or not good for your mental health right now you need to be alone and just try to figure out what flaws make you uncomfortable why you have so much anxiety around your looks and what it is and certain practices you need to actually love yourself things to improve your confidence because for this pile you're not confident and i feel like you are beautiful you are sexy but you're not confident that's your dark attributes you don't feel confident even though everybody is like all over you could be with the queen of wands you're just not confident you are not fulfilled by how you look and be careful if you do get cosmetic surgery be careful because you seem like the type where you get cosmetic surgery and you look perfectly fine and you'll still continue to go back to get more procedures more procedures and put more procedures but still be up not you ever just like those girls that get um bbls and all that stuff like that and they still go out to get more work because they're not they don't feel confident inside even though they look amazing before and after the surgery they keep getting surgery until they actually look like not real real at all they look like i don't just i don't want you to go through that you got the king of pentacles i don't want you to go through that pile too because you seem like the type where you would just not be you're not ever that could be another yes yeah, another dark actually but you're never satisfied you have to keep doing things and doing things and buying you could even be a shopaholic here where you you buy things when you're sad you 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 spend up you 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 spend that credit card like crazy like you keep buying things buying things or something like shiny new i heard about the shiny sorry my phone went dead but you just you just chase um what's new and what's trending what's whatever it is to fill that void of not feeling complete inside pal too so i feel like you do have a spending problem as well it's your dark attribute and you're because you're never satisfied that's another dark attribute um yeah you just keep trying to like you could even have you know wands energy you could even have like your dad actually be able to keep improving keep improving keep improving when you're perfectly fine like you're that type to like you could be like a extreme perf um extreme perfectionist where you're completely fine and but you just need to do this and do that do this do that buy more buy more buy more buy more like you're the type to buy the newest car every year because you're not satisfied and i don't want you to do that to yourself so that's why i feel like your dark attribute is like you're never fulfilled and you have insecurities with needing to have this or needing to do this um because there's a void there pile two so i hope that did resonate um if it did resonate, please like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you in my next post. Hello, Pile of Three. Welcome to your reading. So this will be your dark attributes, anything that you need to heal, anything that you've not noticed that you need to heal, any dark attributes that needs to come up. Let's tap into that. So what are Pile Three's dark attributes? What is Pod 3's dark attributes? What is Pod 3's dark attributes? So many cards. Oh, let's see. What are your dark attributes? <laughs> your dark attributes is you want to be a center of attention all the time. Why are these messages just coming through so good? Like so fast but yeah your dark attributes power three is that you need to be center of attention you could be attention whore 
you just like attention. Give me a fire sign. Nothing's wrong with that. Nothing's wrong with people's dark attributes. I feel like your dark attributes are very valid, though. Everybody has this. So I'm going to just put a trigger warning before I even go because I feel like this is just, I don't know. So your dark attributes are that you need to be the center of attention or it will kill you. Like, if you're not a center of attention, like, it will kill you. That's, that's why I'm getting Leo, Sagittarius, Aries, where you guys just need attention. And if you don't get attention, you might, you think something is wrong. Like, you could be the family member that's a celebrity. Like, you're the celebrity of the family. Like, you need attention. Like, you are a center of attention. You could be the only child for some of you guys. Or if your siblings felt like you were very, very spoiled. Like, even growing up, your siblings could have been jealous of you because I don't know if you're the only girl, only, only boy. Whatever it is, like you were often like a lot of people are jealous of you. You come a lot, you come across a lot of jealous friends as well. But I just feel like if you don't get a center of attention, you you feel like something must be wrong. Like it's giving me um <laughs> any Leo energy. Even if you're not a fire sign, you have that Leo energy where it's just like the world revolves around you, and it's your world, and we just live in it. Literally, main character syndrome for this pile. I don't even know if that's a dark attribute. I don't find that to be a dark attribute at all. Actually, I actually feel like that's a good um, attribute to have, but it is kind of dark because it's like it is not. It isn't selfless, but at the same time, you're not harming anyone. So, but I just feel like it is a dark attribute, I guess. Then, so I feel like light energy is when you're giving and you're co-creating, and dark at dark. Dark light is when you're in control, you're in power, domination, you're in control, like you're self, I don't know, self-centered. Okay, so you could be self-centered. That's a dark attribute, you're self-centered. Um, you only think about yourself. But I don't even think, is that a dark attribute? Okay, I guess it has to be balanced though. So that's what makes it dark. Maybe you're overly, like it's a little bit imbalanced, pal three. Like... You may think about yourself a little bit too much, but is that even a bad thing? I'm like questioning this <laughs> myself. But um, because I don't think you should change that. You're not harming anyone, but I mean, besides, you can make your your partner's a little bit insecure with that with that seven of pentacles. You can make your partner's insecure a little bit. Yeah, I think you just. You make a little bit, but that's not even a bad attribute. I mean, a shadow attribute. You make a lot of your partners, romantic partners, jealous or insecure. You make them insecure. So I don't know, your dark attribute could be that you point out insecurities about them. Like you feel like, oh, you feel the way, like you feel this way about me. Well, that's your problem. I don't need to fix myself. So that might be one of your dark attributes filed through where you don't feel like you need to change anything at all about yourself, which I still don't think. I don't know. Is it a dark attribute? You guys let me know. But I feel like, like say things go wrong in your relationship or in a relationship period, you feel like I'm not changing anything about myself. So you must need to change something about yourself. I feel like it's just like, you have that attitude or that energy where it's just like, well, it's not bothering me. So why should I change this about myself? Cause it's only bothering you. I feel like the only way this is a dark attribute is that if you really love and care about these people and you don't want to push them away, you should change some attributes about yourself, but not all. You shouldn't change yourself for someone. If they truly love you, they're going to love you for your, for you. They're going to love you for you. But I feel like if you don't want to, if you love them, you will change a little bit, a little bit about yourself that makes them feel unwanted by you. So I feel like a dark attribute could be like you make people that you actually love and care about a little bit unwanted a little bit excluded a little bit like you leave them in the dark for a lot of things so yeah they could feel like you act single even when you're in a, in a relationship so you yeah you could have main character syndrome where you act single and you don't mean to hurt your partners but i just feel like you're just you but that is a dark attribute that's coming through strongly to like have your loved ones feel wanted and and you don't have an inviting energy is what i'm getting like you 
tend to leave people out that you love that you care about because you're not you're not thinking about hurting them but you're just so self-centered and on in your own little world like yeah you tend to get in your own little world where you just feel like they'll just run right behind you they'll run along but i feel like in doing this it's not it's they feel excluded like they, they feel like they tend to feel like you don't want them around or something like that because you're just having so much fun sometimes. I think you have like manic episodes, ep not manic episodes, but you get very excited and you get very like in the moment. Like you, yeah, the six of wands, you get very in the moment and then you forget that about other people, about the people you care about because you're just so like wanting to explore, wanting to see it. With all this chariot and the six of wands movement, so I feel like you, You're gonna ask you to is that you could be talking to somebody and you lose interest but you'll still lead them on yeah you, you lead people on pile three you and you it's like you'll like them for a couple weeks or a month and then you'll give you'll want another partner but you'll still talk to them like you'll still lead them on so you have like that you have, you're not actually be this. You'll, you'll find yourself in like two different relationships on accident. So many guys, you forget that you're taken. <laughs> that's not funny, but that's really not funny. You forget that you're taken. The Queen of Pentacles moves. Very, very materialistic. Coming through is very materialistic. Like you like gifts, you like fancy things, you want a fancy cars. Give me city girl. Even if you're not a guy, I mean, even if you're not a girl, city girl. It could be same sex. I'm not sure, but I'll just give me city girl attitude where it's just like I need this and this before I do even do that. Like, and I feel like you just have a lot of people on standby with the seven of pentacles and. It makes them feel unwanted by you because they keep giving you gifts, they keep giving you money, they keep giving you, they keep showering you and spoiling you, and it's just like, okay, can I get a kiss now? Okay, can I get a hug now? I gave you this, you know, I gave you this and that, what you wanted. You're so happy. Like, I feel like you are happy, you are appreciative, and it makes you very happy to give materialistic things. But then, like, it makes your partners feel like, damn, well, do they like me? So you could be an Earth sign, Virgo, Capricorn. Virgo, Virgo, Capricorn, Taurus. If not, you're just very materialistic. Like this is how you feel like someone should love you by buying you things, like or letting you hold their credit card and you just spend every dime. <laughs> Some of you guys could have a money fetish. A money kink. This could be a dark attribute. You have a money kink. Also, if it's your dark attribute and you like it and you don't want to heal it, that's okay too. Live your life how you want to live your life. I'm just exposing it. But yeah. What else? What else? What else about three? What are the dark attributes? <laughs> so we got. Hold on, it's too many times. What is Pal three's dark attributes, spirit? What is Pal two's? I got the Ten of Swords. Ten of Swords. Got the 
tower card I just feel like with your energy, like your dark attributes are not too extreme. They kind of are if there's like in an unhealthy way, but I just feel like so far I'm just getting you're very self-centered. You're very, it's hard for you to choose one person in a relationship. You tend to find yourself in more than one relationship at a time because you like you get very like turned off easily you're very materialistic you like gifts your gifts and money is like your love language like you like to be pampered you like to be spoiled you're very bougie in this pile and i do feel like another um dark attribute is that you lead a lot of your partners on to believe that they're going to get something out of this when you know in reality you're just going to break up with them with the death card yeah this is like an ending so i feel like you know that you're not interested in them but you just still want to get see what you'll get out of your partners so whether that's money whether that's you know a car whether that's you want them to pay your bills it's just something where you you won't even i feel like your dark attribute you won't even engage sometimes in a relationship if it isn't financial advances involved because you really really like nice things nice clothing nice you like luxury things luxury living is what i'm getting and it's just like i feel like all these guys or women do this to kind of like get a kiss out of you get a hug out of you get you know intimacy out of you like these people kind of like you leave them on a little bit that's your dark attribute but i feel like you just you love to feel wanted you love to be needed by someone you love to I kind of feel like you get a kick out of hurting or leading people on because of whatever. I don't know why, but you do get a kick out of leading these people, leading these men on or these energies on. And I don't think you have good communication skills either. When if they do one little thing that upsets you, you'll block them with a tower card and the ten of swords. You are the type to block them. And then if you need something, you'll be like, you'll unblock them and ask them for it, and they'll come and give it to you. They come in and they'll just they'll just come. Like they have poor boundaries with you. And you know what you're doing. You know what you're doing. So that's a dark attribute because you know that you're gonna get your way. But if one little thing happens, they upset you one little bit. You're going to block them. You're going to ghost them because you're a big spoiled baby in this pile. That's your dark attribute. <laughs> so I hope you enjoyed um, pile three. If it did resonate, please like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next post. Hello, pile four. Welcome to your reading. So this will be your dark attributes on what you need to heal, um, anything that comes up, any details. So let's begin. What is Pile 4 dark attributes? What are some things I need to heal or put awareness to? What are some things Pile 4 needs to put awareness to? Rip to anyone that's wearing headphones. I'm so sorry. <laughs> what is Pile 4 dark attributes? What is Pile 4 dark attributes? What is Pile 4 Dark Attributes? One card. Just to start it off. Whoops, Pile 4 is the sun card flipped over. Okay. World. Honestly, these aren't bad cards. So let's see. What's your Dark Attributes? Honestly, your dark attributes could be that you're trying to rush things. You're definitely trying to rush some type of success, some type of relationship, some type of process. Because the sun card is about process, it's about growth. Um, and the world card is about a new cycle. So I'm definitely getting if this is dark attribute. You're definitely trying to rush some type of success, some type of happiness. Like, I feel like you expect happiness after you accomplish something and that's not how it works. 
like happiness is like true abundance and happiness from the soul is being happy within yourself but also being happy with where you're at and i feel like you are thinking that if you do all these tasks all these accomplishments all these goals if you knock out all these goals the faster you do it like the more you'll be happy at the end of this rainbow which is true like you'll have like because i'm not a, not a pinnacles here at the top of the deck which is true because you will have like you know you you're gonna you know you're gonna be f fulfilled you all of the things that you are putting all your energy to into is definitely going to pay off and then i just seen two 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 so you can look it up it might mean different things for all of you guys but i think two 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 is significant here but i'm thinking like with the nine of pentacles if we're thinking dark attributes this is definitely you trying to it's like you have like this yes you will be happy at the end of the rainbow i'm not saying that you won't i'm saying that like because you will because you're planting all your seeds now and you are putting all your energy into what like your goals and your finances and so you're going to reap what you sow that's just how karma works but i feel like you're not happy right now and it's just like you should just be happy with where you are and how much you have like grown already like you shouldn't just be wanting to be happy after like because you're you're kind of like if you think about it, you're kind of like skipping out on like just that's that that's that saying like smell the roses every now and then like you need to get up and get out of there you don't want to just work 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 and then be happy when you retire yeah that's like a traditional way of thinking but i feel like you can be happy now you can take breaks and be happy now go on vacation go on trips like money comes and goes like money is like that flow of money that currency is forever but you being young and being at this age is only a one-time thing if you think about it like we only have one year of like what 2010 2011 2012 we only have one year of like time is just time is very valuable and i feel like money is going to come and go and you should travel you should see new things meet new people and be happy now be happy with where you at now because all everything that you're manifesting is going to come for this power how for it's going to come because the sun is here, the ten of cups is here, the world card is here, the nine of pentacles is here. It's going to come for you. You're just rushing it right now and you're letting your life fly by by just not smelling the roses. Like you need to be in the moment, basically, is your dark attribute. You're not in the moment. You're not in the moment. You should do meditations for this pile. Be in your body, work out more, be more in your body. Be more the moment. Look more at your time clock. Wake up. I don't know if you work at night or during the day, but just don't always spend your time working and sleeping, working and sleeping, working and sleeping. You need to stretch your legs, get fresh air, go to the park, get an animal, buy an animal for some of you guys. Yeah, your dark attributes are staying in your mind too much with the queen of with the king of swords, queen of swords, whatever you like to be called whatever energy you're in you're just in that queen or king of swords energy where you're in your head too much that is your dark attribute you're manifesting a lot you're in your mind a lot and i feel like you can it's being in your mind too much can create mental illnesses mental blockages so i feel like you need to get in your body more by plants even if you don't like being even i feel like you're an introvert for this pile this might be your dark attribute you need to you need to get out there. You need to do things that make you nervous. Be around people. Make friends. Don't just wait for the perfect. Because what are you waiting for? You're going to be waiting. All oh, Just stop waiting for this happy ending because it's going to come. Stop waiting. Stop pushing things aside to work. You might even, your dark attribute might even be that you're a workaholic. It's going to come when it wants to come. So I'm just, I don't know. I know this is like dark to say, but what if you work, 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 and then your time to die is tomorrow? You know what I mean? Like you you did all this to plan for something that isn't even really set in stone. So you might, you can't take all that. You can't take your savings account to your grave. And for some of you guys, you haven't even had kids yet, so it won't even go to your kids. Cause you don't have kids but i'm just saying like do what you want to do now have fun every now and then i'm not saying go crazy but i'm just saying like you deserve to 
have some type of like fun in your life. Because I think you're also your dark attribute is being so serious with the King of Swords energy. You're very serious energy. And we got the Four of Cups. Yeah, you're an introvert and you're always in your head as your dark attribute. You think a lot, you overthink everything. I think you've been always been an overthinker since a young age. Overthinking and having insecurities could run in your family. Queen of Wands. Yeah, get back, get more in your body. You could have been drawn to another pal, I'm not sure, but Queen of Wands, that's giving me some insecurities about how how other people perceive you in a physical sense. Like you I won't say it's too much appearance. I feel like you just are scared of looking stupid or you're scared of making mistakes or you're the type where you're very overcritical of yourself and others. I feel like that's your dark attribute. But everybody makes mistakes and everybody when they're creating something new or doing something new that they've never done before, they're gonna look stupid. They're gonna look crazy. They're gonna look out of place. So you worrying about that and you overthinking about starting a project or going somewhere you've never been before, being scared to travel. You're going to look awkward and you're going to be scared to death, but that's only because it's your first time doing it. And I'm pretty sure everyone that's done it for the first time has felt the same exact way that they that you felt. So I don't know if you're scared to travel. For some of you guys, I don't know if you're scared to look, to ask questions. For some of you guys, you could even, your dark attribute could even be that you're scared to speak up. You're scared to, you know, you get nervous when you're paying for your things at the register. Like you just have this like very overwhelming energy about you, Power Four. That's your dark attribute. Dark attribute because you're always in your head and you're afraid of what people think might think. I think you always feel like people are talking about you too, or laughing at you as well in public, or something like that. Like you just have, but like you always think people are laughing at you or picking at you. Maybe you had you were bullied growing up. I'm getting, I am sensing some type of some form of bullying that puts you in this king of swords energy very guarded very introverted very like closed off energy wanting to be alone a lot you need to get out there you're getting older time is flying by how for your dark eyes should be you wasting time thinking you're going to be happy later on because it's like what if you're do what if your time to go is next week then what and the strength card yeah you need to be more brave more confident <laughs> go shit go in the mirror and fucking talk to yourself <laughs> go in the mirror and fucking talk to yourself Fucking tell yourself positive affirmations. Scream at yourself positive affirmations. Go in the mirror and look crazy. Talk to yourself. Boost yourself up. Do a little dance. Whatever it is, do something. Do something in the mirror. Talk to yourself in the mirror. You know? We got the Ace of Pentacles and the Ace of Wands. So yeah, money's gonna come in regardless. Finances, all of that, abundance is gonna come in regardless. You need to go out there and just look stupid. Doing whatever it is that you wanna do <laughs> with the full card, yeah. You need to go out there and look stupid. I'm sensing this probably you don't have many friends with the Three of Cups in reverse. Yeah, cause you're so closed off. Um, you like to stay inside a lot or whatever it is. You like to work or come home. You don't like to do much here. I mean, I don't either, but I feel like for this part, your dark attributes is like, you just feel like you're going to look stupid. And you're always going to feel like that. Like, just go look stupid. If that's how you feel. Go look stupid. If it's going to make you happy, you might even run into somebody else that might be similar to you that's going to help you be look stupid. Then I got 11-11. So, yeah, you're definitely probably going to meet somebody when you least expect it. Um... You could be clumsy, you could be uh, pale, you could be, even if you're not pale, you're clumsy. It's something about you where you're very awkward. You feel like you're awkward looking as well. That's your dark attribute, you feel like you're awkward looking. Even if you're awkward looking, who gives a fuck? Are we looking around and everybody looks different, honestly. Like, everybody's built different, everybody looks different, everybody 
have a different has a different aesthetic to themselves and that's what's so special about everyone on this planet is that we all have a different aesthetics and we all have different ways of living like go out and buy like what it what is stopping you in this pile that's your dark attribute you're stopping yourself in this king of swords energy because you're so much in your head wondering okay what if this happens okay what if it happens like you know like what if it happens like then what it's a new day tomorrow you can start over tomorrow and look even stupider tomorrow <laughs> who cares like <laughs> who cares like honestly everybody looks awkward and everybody feel I f i'm pretty sure everybody feels that way like who really cares about for it that's your dark attribute like get out of your freaking head go smoke some weed do something like do something that's gonna get you out of that element of just feeling like you feel awkward because you're always gonna feel that way so just forget it <laughs> until you accept it until you accept your awkwardness you need to your dark attribute is not accepting who you are so that's what i have for you hope you enjoyed if it did resonate please like comment subscribe and i'll see you in my next post